Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more The Long Dark Interloper Difficulty Level No Time for BS. So real quick, I know I asked you guys what you thought about going to get that deer. I am having to record this episode before I read those comments. Because <laughs> Hurricane Matthew is apparently going to try and F, F us up big time by uh, throwing down the double middle finger and there have you. So, I'm going to try and get some stuff together and get all my videoing done before that happens, just in case the lights go out and don't come back on for several days. That as it is, we are going to get this freaking deer. I don't care what it takes. Let's go through our items real quick. We're going to have to drop some of them to do this, more than likely. Let's go ahead and put this stuff down real quick. We still have quite a bit of weight on us. We can get rid of... Well, we can get rid of probably almost all of this. Because I want to be able to get out there. We're going to have to deal with the wolves. Just straight up, we're going to be dealing with wolves. So, I want to be able to run at full speed. We're going to try and get out to that freaking deer carcass. We're going to throw down a fire to try and scare away the wolves. And then we're going to beeline it the hell out of there after we get all of the meat that we can get. It's pretty nice outside. Negative 9 degrees. You can see wolves all over. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to crouch. Now, once you get a fire going, wolves won't approach you for the most part. Negative eight degrees. This is good. Ten hours of daylight left. Getting this deer is going to be very, very important to our continued survival. Jesus, that wolf is literally heading straight for us. All right, baby. Come on, freaking get there. Oh, the tension! Almost there. We need to get up to this freaking deer, though. Okay. Right next to the deer. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yep, a book is fine. Now, if this fire starts, God willing, it'll keep the wolves away. The wolves seem to kind of just go nuts in around like a, I don't know, maybe like a 10 or 20 meter radius whenever there's a fire. They just kind of like run in circles and go ballistic. Very rare that I see them, like, run directly away from the fire, which is kind of annoying. I wish that they would just, like, run away and not come back. That would be fantastic. Hopefully our fire starting skill gets up high. That would be lovely. Oh, could you get any luckier? We have plenty of reclaimed wood. So I'm going to throw all that down. We've got a couple of sticks as well. That's going to help get the heat it, uh, output decently going. You can see right there, they're still just kind of wandering around pretty close by. Let's try and hacksaw this thing to death. Nice. We're going to get the meat. I'm going to get that real quick. 14 degrees Celsius. Not bad. Let's get the gut. We're going to want the gut first. We want to make sure that we get this gut. The gut is going to be integral to fishing line and a bunch of other stuff. Let's see how this fire is doing. Two hours. Getting a little bit crazier outside. Let's get this hide as well. If this fire goes out. Okay, you hear that? You hear all the insanity going on? Look at him. Look at him right there. Going all ballistic. All right, let's cook this freaking venison. We're going to cook this. And while we're out here, I'll probably try to cook up the coffee as well. Uh, just kind of to use all this to the best of our ability. Man, I'm going to have a freaking ton of coffee and tea and everything else. Let's do this, though. The coffee tin is going to continue to go down in durability or condition, however you want to call it. But once the coffee is brewed, I don't think it goes down. Plus, again, this is getting us a little bit of cooking every time we do it. Let's go throw some more, uh, some more wood in here just to kind of keep this fire raging. The reason I'm doing this as well is because if suddenly, for some reason, like a wind starts blowing, that could get really bad, and that can put our fire down to either blown out completely, or just reduce it to the point where there's almost nothing left. Now, every time we make a cup of coffee here, the only issue is that our weight is going up every time. Should be able to brew five cups of coffee from this tin. And that looks like exactly what we're going to be able to get done. Oh, that's so good. All right, this herbal tea. I... I wouldn't normally suggest to do this, but I'm going to keep this herbal tea as it is. I'm not going to... I'm not going to 
do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab a brand. And I'm going to start kind of moving away here. Just keep keep an eye on these guys. Hold on. While we're here. While we're here. Let's grab these crow feathers. Grab a few of these real quick. There we go. I think there's one over here too. Don't want to miss it. You can see this wolf now doesn't seem to really care about the fire. I don't know why. Okay, is he coming at us? He is. All right, let's stick by this fire for just a second. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, he's heading He's heading away from the fire. Okay, they all are. Good. Let's start backing up. We got one wolf over there kind of coming in. Kind of coming in. Just get close to this building. Close to the building, doing... Oh shit, alright. Screw it, we're going! We're running! Oh! Ho 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 ho! Screw you, wolves! Oh, nice! So that's gonna get us a little bit more meat. And another hide, which is fantastic. And two more gut, man! We're getting there! So now the things that we need to do, we need to drop all of this stuff back over at the misanthropes homestead. And then we need to start moving on. We will have, I'm actually probably going to need to keep a, a, a some sort of list about where I'm dropping this stuff so we don't forget it later. Because I think we have a couple of items over at Jackrabbit's Island. And then we're going to have a couple of items over at misanthropes homestead. And then, we need to start moving on to Desolation Point. That is our next goal. But the big issue is, to move on to Desolation Point, we are going to want to be fully rested. I'm talking like, as rested as we can be. So, let's go ahead and drink real quick. Grab a quick, quick little swig right here. Now this 84, 84 kilograms of meat should give us, I was going to say right around 700 calories. So 672 calories, that is not bad at all. We have this can of dog food that we gotta eat as well. I think you always have a little bit of a chance to... Let me go ahead and drop this down. I'm glad that when we drop these brands down, it doesn't burn down the house. I think that when you eat dog food, you always have a little bit of a chance of getting food poisoning. But for 500 calories, man, I'm gonna take that... <laughs> I'm gonna take that chance. Let me... Let me go ahead, get some stuff set up real quick, and then we're going to head out and see if we can hit another coastal... Well, let's see if we can get back to Jackrabbit's Island. That's going to be my next goal. All right, we're back. I think I said Jackrabbit's Island before that we're going back to. It's Misanthrope's Island. I went back here to the, to the gas station to make sure we didn't miss anything, and god dang it if there wasn't a Wilderness Kitchen book that I had missed right here on this shelf. So how do you like them apples, man? If you guys were telling me that I had missed a, a Wilderness Kitchen book... At least you can uh, sleep safe knowing that I managed to pick it up. Winds are starting to pick up. Weather is looking a little bit worse out here. I'd like to see if we can get back down to the island. The biggest issue is going to be getting around all of the wolf activity, though. Let me see if I can go around this way. Now, I have... All of our gut and stuff on us. Our hammer and everything is back at Misanthropes Island, though, I'm pretty damn sure. So we have to head this way regardless. And I need to make sure that I can see the island. Otherwise, we're screwed. So, that should be it right out there. Go ahead and hop over this. That should be the island, I think. These islands start to all look the same after a while. I'm just looking for wolf activity as well. Looks like most of the wolves have pushed on over there. That's really good. Negative 9 degrees outside. Not terrible. Once we get back over to Misanthropes Island, and I kind of take everything that we need, we are going to head over to the easternmost cottages. I think they're right on that coastline, the, the direction that we're looking ahead of us. I'm also just keeping an eye out that there's no other wolves that we miss. I don't think that there is. I think that the closest ones are out there. Still negative 9 degrees. That doesn't concern me. I mean, as, as horrible as it sounds, negative 9 degrees at this point is a fantastic outing in the beauty 
the wilderness of uh, Canada. Let's go ahead and start sprinting. Now, we're going to have to sleep at this place regardless. And the reason why is because I don't know if the cottages... What the hell was that? I don't know if the cottages over by the eastern part of this zone are fixed or not. They may be burned down. And if they're burned down, that's going to be the last place that we'll be able to rest before we head into the mines and we head into the uh, winding ravine or whatever the hell it's called. The winding highway, I think. Or maybe it's the... I don't know. It's a crumbling highway something or other. But the point is that it's very long and there's a long period of time before we get to a place where we can sleep. A little cave structure over there, by the way. Well, I guess we'll check it real fast. Oh, I'm such an idiot for doing this. Couple of bones, nothing else in here. That's where the bear comes from, I do believe. Negative nine degrees Celsius. Still not terrible. Oh, shit! Okay. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, God. Please, God, fire. Oh, God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay. The wolf is afraid. This... There's no way that this fire is going to start. We've got a heavy breeze outside. That wolf is lingering around. Shit. All right, let's push. Let's push. All right, we got him coming back down here again. Coming back down here again. Come on, fire, 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 fire. Fire. Now. Oh, God. This is the worst possible use of matches. But it's better than dying. If we get hit by that wolf, it is not going to be good. We don't have any of our weapons on us right now. I don't think a hacksaw counts as a weapon. Please start fire. I have like a 50% possibility of this freaking fire starting. Come on, baby. It's like a flip of a coin. It's heads or tails. No! All right. Maybe he'll keep running. We need to get around into this freaking cottage now. Go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was... Wow. <laughs> my hands are shaking a little bit. <laughs> that was the closest call we've had. When it comes to critters. Uh... Oh god. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hammer right now, just so that I don't forget it. We're gonna need our... We're gonna need some coal. We're gonna need our tools as well when the time comes. I'll probably take a little bit of scrap metal. Got this antiseptic down here. I'm gonna grab these. We're gonna be very burdened as we start wandering around. But them's the breaks, man. While we're inside, real quick before I forget, need to drop these down. Get these curing. We don't want that kind of stuff on us. I don't know if there's anything else that I'd really feel like dropping. Um, I'm keeping these books on us because we have so many things to eat right now that we may want to read now and again. If we had gotten those fires started and they would have stayed, I probably would have, I probably would have utilized that fire to, to get stuff done in. All right. So grab some water just so that we have water to drink. I'm going to grab this last piece of coal as well. We may not need this coal. I may even drop this coal, because we're going to have to go through a mine in order to get to where we need to be anyway. I don't know. Inventory management, man. There's part of the long dark for you. How much is this, is this coal weighing down on us? 2.7 kilograms. Damn it. That's some heavy-ass coal. Alright. Well, for right now, we can't do too much. Four hours of daylight left. It is going to be looking pretty harsh outside. And I need to consider if I want us to move through the night or not. I really don't think I do. I kind of want us to have daytime, but I think we're more or less going to be shut out on our travel due to just the weather right now. So let's go up here, eat some dog food, take a little snooze real quick, regain our, regain our, our energy, take a look at the... Take a look at what it looks like outside. I don't know. I might even read some books or something, man. Let me check out our book situation real quick. We should have Surviving in the Wilderness. Yeah, right out here. Let me think about this. We can get our fire starting up. If we read this a little bit more, that might be a good idea. All right. 
We have a lot of drink. We have a lot of tea. That, that, uh, coffee is gonna be really important. Man, I hate to smash this open. But damn it, here we go. Let's hope for only a 10% loss on this. If I can just get... Okay, 12% loss. That's not terrible. So, got a little bit of that done. Let's start reading these books a little bit. Surviving over here in the wilderness, man. We got a little bit of light left. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You're gonna notice you lose about 150 calories per hour that you study this. So... Oh, I need to find food. Just, uh, just something to note. Fire starting... 10 points, and then we can get rid of this book. This book will just be a, come on, get it done before we're out of daylight, sweet. All right, so this book is done. There's nothing else we can get for it. We can now set this book on fire, not a big deal. That's gonna get rid of 0.5 kilograms. And we managed to use up a little bit of time, which is kind of nice as well. We're gonna need uh, more calories, obviously, to get ourselves some sleep in. So let's find out real fast where we're sitting at. We're sitting at 50 calorie store. So let's go ahead and eat the big piece of uh, meat that we have laying around. Got this nice piece of cooked venison right here. Now someone had said 10 hours of sleep is all you can get before you're dehydrated. Let's check on that. Let's go ahead right here. How many is it for 10 hours? Uh, 750. Do I feel like eating one more item? Not really. All we're, that we're really checking on is whether or not we're dehydrated, not so much whether or not we are, we're hungry. So let's do this. Again, we're not going to like gain all of the energy that we could. We're going up to 100 anyway, but right here. Okay, so 10 hours of sleep still has you at parched. Interesting. So I'm wondering if at, if you can manage to get to 11 so hungry. and still be all right. Kind of interesting. Very interesting, actually. Take a swig. We should have all of our tools on us. I'm just going to double check here. Hacksaws. Yep. We got our mallet. Very good. We have one pry bar. Got our torch. Can't see jack crap, which is about par for the course. There should be hide right over here. If I look at the ground, yep, there's some cured hide. 12% cured. I'm going to drop down six pieces of... No, I'm going to drop down... Let me think about this for a second. How many pieces of cloth do I want to drop down? 16 pieces of cloth. And this scrap metal. We have two hacksaws, so I'm not really worried about the scrap metal issue. We're going to be able to get scrap metal easily. In fact, if we have more scrap metal on us, I don't think that we do. But if we had more scrap metal, I would probably get rid of it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done on scrap metal. No scrap metal. All right. Let's see what it looks like outside. Let's hope for some good weather. And maybe we can start heading toward the, the crumbling highway. Negative 30 degrees. Crap. So much for good weather, right guys? Wolf's not around anymore though. Negative 30, man. We can't do this with negative 30 degrees. There's no way. So, something to remember for us is when we come out, there's Jackrabbit's Island. We're going to want to go right around due right of the front door just in case there's like a fog or something that rolls in. Since we have some time, let's um let's see here. What can we do? We can rip up a couple of a couple of drapes. That'll use a little bit of time. That'll get us a little warmer as well. Get rid of some of the darkness. And then we'll drop this cloth back down. But this is good. You know, we'll, we'll use a little bit of our time up. You know what I mean? Get these curtains ripped up. Come on, man. How much more darkness is freaking left? What is, what is this BS? Still one hour of darkness. Got a lot more light. But the dark... It's still technically dark, I think. Let's go drop all of this cloth real fast. Drop down... Um, Oh, uh, by the way, I, I forgot to mention to you, if you didn't know, you can make bandages from cloth. Uh, just something a lot of people don't know. You can also start fires with your brands, if you have a brand on you. You don't have to use a match. I think you can use a flare as well. Let's go to our clothing. Maybe there's some clothing we can repair. How about these boots? Maybe we'll repair these boots real quick. Repair them out 40%. Takes an hour and 30 minutes. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
that'll get us down to, I think, 12 hours of daylight left. There we go. That got our, uh, our abilities up with a sewing kit a little bit. All right. Let's try this one more time. I I'm going to tell you guys, I'm very nervous about this trek that we're about to make. It really... Did Who? Where's this wolf yelling at? Hold on. Is he on us? I can't... I don't see him. I know I heard a wolf, guys. I know you guys did too. Crap. Okay. Let's, um... Here's what we'll do. Oh, man, alive. We'll go back inside... For just a second. I'll rip up maybe like two more drapes or something. And then we'll uh, we'll head on out again. Just being very careful right now. Very careful. Ten more minutes. Twenty more minutes total here. Just ripping these up. Okay, we're at 11 hours of daylight left. Let's go and get down here. We're, we're well rested, so I, I do like that. You know what, though? Let's see. Those who cannot risk... Cannot win. Let's do this. Screw this. We're going out here. We need to get, we need to get moving. We need to get to freaking Desolation Point. Crap. And of course, of course, the weather, it's starting to snow. All right. I'm going to grab a couple of sticks. My buddy, Hadrian, would be very sad if I didn't pick up all of these sticks. <laughs> What I kind of wish is that you could find materials to make your own tinders. Like, um, to make your own matchsticks. Let me see. I see a deer out there. So if he's walking out there, that means that we can walk out there. Shouldn't be thin ice. All right, let's start moving. Coastal, coastal cottages should be right there. Do you guys see that in the distance? That should be a potential coastal cottage. It's all about whether or not it... It's not burned to the ground. It looks good. I'm not going to lie. That looks like a fully formed house. All right. Let's start pushing. Real careful, though. Real careful. Nice and slow. Nice and slow over here. Looking for wolves. Things are looking pleasant. I see two additional deer out there. Okay, good. It looks like the deer... Have overtaken the wolves. Okay. That house. Not at all in one piece. <laughs> now that we're getting closer. I can see this very, very clearly. Crap. I saw something dark. I saw a dark shadow over that little hill there. I don't know if that was a wolf or what. Let's keep moving. Waterfront cottages. That means that we're close to the ravine. Okay, these are all burned down. I don't see any wolves. Oh! 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 Oh, bunny! Oh, bunny! Oh, bunny! Why did you do that to me? Jesus! Oh! Okay, reishi mushrooms. Temperature getting a little cool outside. I'm just gonna grab two of these to make a tea. We're gonna move on. I don't know if there's a basement around here or what. I don't think we're going to be able to stay for very long in this area. In fact, we are not going to be able to stay in this area. Getting very cold. That's a guy. I'll check him. Oh, I'm such an idiot for doing this. I'm such an idiot for doing this. Isn't that sad when it's a game all about exploration and you feel like a jerk for actually exploring stuff because it'll probably end up killing you? <laughs> oh, the long dark. How you torment me. How you torment me and all that play you. Just taking a real quick look around here, too. I saw more reishi mushrooms over there. We're going to let them go. God, there's more reishi mushrooms right here, too. Oh, sure, I'm getting cold. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the roadway. I'm going to grab these freaking reishi mushrooms because I, I don't know what I'm thinking. And we're going to keep moving on. We need to not sprint as much as possible because the biggest issue for us is going to be our rest meter. We're probably not going to find a place to sleep for quite a while. 
And I need to keep my sprint up just in case we see a wolf through the ravine because there are plenty of them. Now I think... Okay, let's keep moving. Now I think that there is a basement in the the winding river or the coastal... Or not the winding river, the winding highway or whatever the hell it's called. The only issue with it is that I don't think it has a bed. And remember, we still don't have a bed roll. I'm gonna hug this zone because I don't think that the... Crap. I don't think that the wolves can come from this direction. All right. Yeah, don't don't worry, Jennifer. You're you're fine. You're fine. As long as we don't see any wolves, you're fine, girl. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Get to the ravine. Looking around here. Don't see any wolves. Still looking good. Very very cold though. A little bit thirsty too. All right. This is it, man. Come on. Just keep pushing. We got a car over here. Only problem is it's not going to give us enough heat. You can sleep in cars, but as I've said before, a lot of times the cars just, they're so cold in the interloper mode, there's no way that you'll survive if you try and sleep inside of them. All right, let's, um, let's check out the trunk. You never know, man. Maybe there's a bedroll. Maybe there's a bedroll inside. Nope. Nothing. Maybe there's a bedroll inside of this car. I mean, people pack up bedrolls all the time, right? Crap. Front door. What's the temperature like inside? Negative six degrees, so still freezing. Great. Probably gonna have to start a fire at some point. Nothing on the dashboard. Nope, not a damn thing. Let's keep going. Negative 11. So you get a five degree bonus for being inside of a car like that one right there. I think we're seeing some rose hips over here. I will grab those since we're coming right across them. They're in our path. What is that called? S Commuter's Lament. All right, maybe now I can get the actual appropriate names of these places. Can we, I don't think that there's any wind chill that we can protect ourselves from. Leaving the coastal highway, guys, here we go. This is it. It's a long-ass journey, man. Old Island Connector. Okay. Didn't know about that. Still negative 11 degrees. While we're doing this, let's go drink. That'll remove some of our... Some of our weight. Oh. And the sad music starts to play. The music that typically plays when I'm screwed. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one little bit. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to end it here. We're going to see if we can push through. Guys, hope you're enjoying the long, dark interloper mode. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.